Hey everyone, it's Jacob here, back again with another video. Um, so today's video, um, as you can see, is another video that is e that is utilizing the PS4, if you will. Um, so right off the bat, you might be thinking, oh, so it's going to be another video of, uh, of Jacob playing a video game. Well, no, that's actually not true, because, um, I thought it's been a, I thought it's been a little while since I've done a DVD menu walkthrough video. And so I had an idea, I decided I was going to, I said for today's video, I'm going to be showing all the menus of the DVDs and Blu-rays that are in the Harry Potter Hogwarts collection. Um, so if you all know what the Harry Potter Ho Hogwarts collection is, it's basically a big collection of all the Harry Potter movies on DVD and Blu-ray. Um, plus like every, every single special feature you can think of, has like every single special feature imaginable in here. Um, and then also, and also the last two movies, the, the two Deathly Hallows movies, have uh, 3D Blu-rays in here, but I'm not able to watch those because I don't have, like, a 3D TV or 3D Blu-ray Blu -ray player or anything like that. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, technically there was, like, another version of, of this set, um, that came out, like, I think, like, a few years before this Hogwarts collection. is called the Harry Potter Wizards Collection. And so this Hogwarts collection is kind of like a, a condensed version of the Wizards collection. The Wizards collection had like a bunch of extra things. It was like even bigger. It had like a bunch of like drawers and stuff like that. And had like a bunch of extra stuff like papers and um, just stuff like that. Like memorabilia and stuff like that. And, but this Hogwarts collection is just the, the discs themselves that came in the Wizards collection. But uh, yeah, I'm probably not really interested in the Wizards collection because basically the same thing as the Hogwarts collection just with like some... Some added bonuses, I guess, if you will. Anyways, uh, this, this is what it looks like, kind of like a book style. with all the movies there. And then, for example, this is the Sorcerer's Stone page. We have Blu-ray of the movie, DVD of the movie, uh, DVD special features, and Blu-ray special features. So, yeah. I'm going to try and go kind of faster, because there's a lot of discs in here. So, um, yeah, we're going to start with the Blu-ray of Sorcerer's Stone. Let's pop it in. And yeah, I'm probably just gonna like briefly show the menus of each of these discs because, like I said, there's a lot of them. I think there's like 31 discs in total in here to be exact. Um, by the way, I've t I turned my TV down t to like 18, as you can see, just because I want to make sure you can hear my voice. Um, anyways, here is the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone Blu-ray. So here we go. Hopefully this video doesn't end up being like an hour long. But uh, I guess it wouldn't be a huge deal if it, ended up, if it did end up being an hour long or even longer. But uh, I'm going to try and go as, as fast as possible so this video doesn't, doesn't end up being too long. But anyways, it's loading up here. Okay, I can fast forward past the copyright screens, which is good. Uh, that's the Warner Home Video logo, a little tingle thing, if you will. I've said if you will a lot in this video. It's just a phrase I like to say, if you will. <laughs> anyway, should be loading up here. Well, that's the loading symbol there. <laughs> Come on. It's loaded up already. Why is it taking so long to load up, bro? Okay. Here you are, this is the menu of the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone Blu-ray. So we have play movie recording with settings, language settings, book and language to subtitles, uh, whoops, uh, menu audio, button audio, scene selections, special features, and movie experience with director Chris Columbus, and then Warner Bros. Video Live, which uh, not really had to go in that because you like a actual like Blu-ray player. Like just the Blu-ray player itself with like a live like connection or something like that. Yeah. Anyways, that was that one. Let's go ahead and take that disc out. Alright, so the next one is the DVD of the movie, and it's just the theatrical version because the Blu-ray of Sorcerer's Stone comes with the theatrical and extended versions. So yeah. This is a pretty pricey, pretty expensive collection since it's so big. On Amazon, I think it's like at least like hundred sixty or hundred seventy dollars. I didn't actually pay for this collection when I got it because my brother got it for me for Christmas. 
So yeah, I guess this is like a, a good video to show you what, what all come, what all exactly comes in the pretty powerful work collection if you think you might want it. Uh, if you were wondering what that big sound was, I still need to close the thing and it went like that. <laughs> anyway, it's not a DVD of sorts or someone is loading up. Uh, so let's get past the copyright screens there as well. Um, and uh, the theatrical and extended versions of the movie that also applies to Chamber of Secrets as well. The, the uh, Blu-ray of Chamber of Secrets has both the theatrical and extended versions as well, but then, then I'd say only the first two movies have the extended versions. The other ones are just the theatrical versions, no extended versions. Anyway, so it's a DVD menu for a part of the social zone. Um, so, uh, this is a little bit different than, than the menu that, uh, that is on the, uh, the standard two disc DVD of Fair Part and Sorcerer's Stone. So yeah, it's a play theatrical version and scene selections. Just all the scenes there. Then languages, spoken languages, subtitles, and all that. This is a cool, like, different alter alternate DVD menu, though, than, like, the standard two disc DVD. Anyways, that was that one. Next up is the DVD with the special features, right here. Go ahead and pop this one in. Now, the special features discs, I'm definitely not going to be showing every single menu for, because there's a lot of menus on each of the special features discs. Um, well, actually, there's only, like, DVD special features discs for the first four movies, and then, and then, uh, for the, for, like, movies five through eight, all the special features are just on the Blu-ray special features discs. So yeah. And uh this uh DVD special features disc this is the same like DVD that you get in the standard two disc DVD version of Sorcerer's Stone. I mean not the exact same obviously because like the the artwork on the disc would be a little bit different than the standard version of the Sorcerer's Stone DVD. But anyways. Welcome to the Great Hall. Welcome to the Great Hall. I like the narrator's voice on the special features discs. Anyways, so the special features include like Diagon Alley, Tour of Hogwarts, Classroom, Sorting Hat, Interviews, Extra Credit, which is like when you put the DVD into a computer you get like some extra things. It's like college of credit. And then Hogwarts Crowns, Library, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's the same time I'm not going to click on any of those things. But I actually did, a little while back, I actually did a DVD menu walkthrough for the, like, the standard here part of the Social Stone DVD. So, um, if you want to see what all the special features are like on that, you can go over to that video that I made, the DVD menu walkthrough for Social Stone. Anyways, here's the Blu-ray special features discs, and all the Blu-ray special features discs that are in here have all the parts of the Creating the World of Trade Part documentary. So, for example, this one's Creating the World of Trade Part, Part 1, The Magic Begins. So, yeah. Pop this one in. Um, I think the Blu-rays take a little longer to load up than the than the DVDs. It might be because the Blu-rays have more than the more on them than the DVDs. Maybe I'm not sure. And it says Harry Potter Sorcerer's Stone, and it says UCE, which stands for uh, Ultimate. Uh, Ultimate Collector's Edition, I think that means. Yeah, because I think this Blu-ray disc originally came in, like, a Harry Potter and Social Stone, like, Ultimate Edition. Um, that's, like, a, kind of, like, a separate thing. But, yeah. I mean, not the exact same disc, because I, I think the artwork on all these discs are, like, exclusive to this set. But don't quote me on that, I might be wrong, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm pretty sure, anyway. Um, so yeah, this is the last disc for Sorcerer's Stone. Get past the Warner Home video logo here. Like I said, I'm trying to go as fast as possible because there's a lot of discs in here. <laughs> Alright, so here's the Blu ray special features discs. So we have languages, spoken languages, subtitles, all that jazz. And the special features we have introduction behind the story, introduction by Daniel Ryan, including instructions and many special features, special features for the Harry Potter films. Uh, creating the World of Harry Potter Part 1 the Match Begins, A Glimpse of the World of Harry Potter 2001 International TV Special. Then we have additional, whoops, I accidentally went out of it. Then we have additional footage, like deleted scenes. Um, and then trailers and TV spots. 
And it says online business at warnerblue.com for the latest on Warner Blue Ray Disc. I'm not even sure if the website is the same art because this is a bit of an older Blu ray disc. But anyways, that's that. Um, so, it's that disc, and now we're going to go over to Chamber of Secrets. On to the next page of the collection here. Here is the Blu ray of the movie Chamber of Secrets, it has both the theatrical and extended versions. Let's pop that one in. Sorcerer Stone is my favorite hate part of the movie, by the way, and then Prisoner of Azkaban is a really close second. Um, so yeah, I, I think the earlier hate part movies are better than the later ones, but that just, that's just my opinion. Maybe that's just because they're like so classic and nostalgic and have like more memorable lines and stuff like that. Anyways, <clears throat> here's the hate part in the Chamber of Secrets Blu-ray. Loading up here. Chamber Secrets Blu-ray, and then something I forgot to show on the Sorcerer's Stone Blu-ray um, that is also in Chamber Secrets Blu-ray is there's two options here when you click on Play Movie. It has to play the actual version or play extended version. I usually play the extended version just because it's like more like complete with like all the scenes. And then you have settings, language settings, menu audio, basically the same stuff as the Sorcerer's Stone Blu-ray. And scene selections, there's there's more scenes in Chamber of Secrets than Sorcerer's Stone because Chamber of Secrets is a little bit longer than Sorcerer's Stone. And has special features in the movie experience with director Chris, Chris Columbus, just like on the Sorcerer's Stone Blu ray and then the Warner Bros. BD Live thing as well. And that's that. Let's give that one out. And then let's pop in the DVD of the movie, which is just the theatrical version. This is how the DVDs are, like, organized in here, by the way. They, they're in these, like, slots here. There's no real, like, disc holders, but that's not a huge deal. Anyways. Like, there's no, like, traditional disc holders in here where you, like, press press in and then, then like, get the disc out. You know what I mean? Anyway. <laughs> Let's get past that. Skip. Alright, so here's the DVD menu for the Chamber of Secrets DVD. Um, Alright, so here's the Chamber of Secrets DVD. Um, this is, this is, this looks similar to the regular, 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 regular. Uh, that's the word, that, 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 uh, messed up my words like twice in a row there. I was gonna say, uh, this is, this looks very similar to the, like, the regular, uh, like, standard, uh, two-disc, uh, do, like, the, the DVD that comes in the standard two-disc DVD of Chamber of Secrets, but, uh, it's a little bit different. It just has play theatrical version, and then scene selections, there's all the scenes, and the languages as well, and, yeah, that's, uh, That's that. And Chamber of Secrets is my third favorite Harry Potter movie. Chamber of Secrets is pretty good as well. Just not as good as Prisoner of Azkaban or Sorcerer's Stone, obviously. Anyway, then we have the Special Features DVD disc for Chamber of Secrets. Just like the, just like the Special Features DVD uh, of Sorcerer's Stone, uh, the Special Features DVD for Chamber of Secrets is the same like special features DVD that is in the standard two disc DVD of Chamber of Secrets. So yeah, I have like all the standard two disc DVDs for like the first four Harry Potter movies just because they're kind of like nostalgic and they just, they just have some like sentimental value and stuff like that. 
Anyway. Special Features Disc for Chamber Secrets. So we have the same narrator from the Special Features Disc for Poetry Stone. But I'm not going to comment on any of these, just take time. We have like additional scenes, game preview, Lockhart's Classroom, extra credit behind Hogwarts activities, and then a Spellcaster Knowledge Quiz game thing. Um, anyway, that's that. And then the last disc for Chamber of Secrets is the Blu-ray Special Features disc with part two of the Craning the World of Trade Pro documentary characters. So let's pop this one in. And after this, it's on to Prisoner of Azkaban. Mm. And then, like I said, starting with Prisoner of Azkaban, none of the other movies have uh, extended versions. It's just the first two movies that had the extended versions. Alright, so here's the Chamber of Secrets Special Features Blu-ray. <laughs> also, in my opinion, to be honest, in my opinion, uh, I think... I think that Chamber of Secrets shouldn't have been the longest Harry Potter movie. I think maybe Gobble of Fire should have been the longest one, actually, because I heard there was, like, a lot of details from the Gobble of Fire book that they left out in the movie, like, a lot of details. I haven't actually read a lot of the Harry Potter books, so I've, I've read, like, the, the first, the whole, like, first Harry Potter book, and then, like, then, like, a little bit of, like, the, the beginning of the Ch Chamber of Secrets book. Anyway, here is the Spencer Features Blue Reef Chamber of Secrets, spoken languages, subtitles, and special features, current notice part, part two characters, Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets revealed, additional footage, screen tests, play all Jenny Radcliffe, Jenny Radcliffe, Grant Watson, and the lead scenes, and the trailers and TV spots, see the trailer, the actual trailer and TV spots, and so the online does this more, blue.com plays the more Blu-ray disc, and the languages, and I think I might already show the languages, but, you know, whatever. Anyways, let's take that one out. Alright, so on to Prisoner of Azkaban. Yeah, there we go. So here's the Blu-ray of Prisoner of Azkaban. Like I said, from here on out, starting with Prisoner of Azkaban, all the rest of the movies do not have extended versions. It's just the theatrical versions. It's just the first two movies that have the extended versions. I've already said that a few times, but you know, just in case you didn't hear me the first few times. Anyway. So this is loading up. So here's the Prisoner of Azkaban Blu-ray. Prisoner of Azkaban is probably the best one, like, in terms of, like, cinematography and stuff like that. I think Alfonso Cuaron, the director of Prisoner of Azkaban, did, like, a really good job. There's a lot of, like, really beautiful shots in the movie. Um, there was a lot of moments where it was, it would be, like, a, a fade out, like, screen would go to black and fade in, like, on a different scene. You know what I mean? Um... So, yeah. Anyway. There's just a lot of, like, gorgeous shots, in my opinion. Anyways. And by shots, I don't mean, like, gunshots, obviously. I mean, like, just, like, scenes and st stuff like that. <laughs> like, and, like, frames and stuff like that in the movie. Anyway. And by frames, I don't mean picture frames. I'm just kidding. I know you probably, probably knew what I meant. Anyway. <laughs> Here's the blurry menu for Prisoner Mask of Anne. Uh, uh oh, yes, I just read. Oh. Um. Don't let me do anything. <laughs> Oops. Oh, yes. 
Hopefully there's some sort of lag with the Blu-ray menu. It can't be lag. Lag is only for like video games. Oh, oh, oh. There is some sort of lag. It's, it's like going through the scene selections for some reason, not even doing anything. Uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, clean movie languages, spoken languages, subtitles. Do 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 do. Scene selections. WB BD Live, and that's it. And here is the DVD of Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, and also from here on out, um, all of the, uh, the DVDs of the movies on DVD special feature discs are all from, like, the, uh, or at least for Prisoner of Azkaban, or at least for uh, Prisoner of Azkaban and Goblet of Fire, the DVD of the, of the movie and DVD special features discs are both from the standard two-disc DVD of the movies. <laughs> and then for, uh, for uh, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and both the Deathly Hallows movies, there's no DVD special features discs, but the, uh, but the, uh, the DVDs of the movies for Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and two Deathly Hallows movies are all from the standard DVDs of the movies. I think there was, like, a special features discs for all the movies, but, um, I think, like, for, for the last four movies, for, for movies five, I almost said episodes, I mean, from movies five through eight, um, like, the, the, the DVD special, the special features DVDs are, have, like, the same special features as the, uh, special features Blu-rays for movies five through eight. For the first four movies, the special features DVD and Blu-rays are, have different special features, so that's why they include the special features DVDs. Anyway. So yeah, it's just the same DVD menu that you would see on the standard two-disc version of Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, let's see how we have scene selections. And we have all these scenes, special features. Little faces! <laughs> Shrunken has a funny character. Anyway, special features of cast and crew, and then the actual trailers for years one, two, and three. I'm sorry, both that. Then languages as well. Um, we have spoken languages, subtitles, and then just like copyright stuff. <laughs> and that's it for that one. Um, so here is the DVD. A, sp a special features for Prisoner of Azkaban. Um. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's making a weird sound. You hear that? It's like, Mwah. okay, just stop when I click on the when I click on the DVD thing. It stopped. Anyway. Alright, so this one is loading up. I oh, can't skip past the copyright stuff this one, I guess. So when I try to click the fast forward thing, there's a slash symbol thingy that appears over there. I might not be able to see that because it might be covered up on the cup. I don't know. Anyway. Come on. Can't skip past the Warner Bros. intro thing either. Okay, so the Prison Math Fans was features disc that asks you to choose whether you want English or Francois, which is French. Which obviously, we want English. I mean, I don't, I don't know if we have any any viewers who are French. But yeah, I'm, I'm English, so that's why I chose English. Um, here is the menu for. So it's just a prisoner basket man. That's actually a really cool looking uh, menu because it looks just like the Marauders map from the movie. This is Moon. This is Moon. You have the two prongs. I have to find out there. Oh, I just remembered. Mr. Moon, you wormtail, pad, fucking prongs. That was it. 
Anyway, we have two honeydew, extensive of the Dark Arts, Hogwarts Grounds, Divination Class, and Great Hall. And that's it for that one. Alright, so, whoops. There we go. I like slid down a little too far there. I put it back in. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> I'm talking about the, uh, that was featured DVD disc. I, I slid down a little too far when I was putting it back in. Anyway. <laughs> Here's the Blu-ray special for you, just for the vast span. That's part three of the Crane Roller Fairy Part Documentary Creatures. Pop this one in. <laughs> Making some weird sounds here. It's like... It's like a, like a lawnmower trying to start up like... Anyway. Um, uh, okay, so here's the, alright, it's so going into the, uh, Prince of Mask Man Special Features Blu-ray. And after this, it's on to Goblet of Fire, of course. Knowing that to sit through like these loading screens and stuff. Um, on the Blu rays, anyway, obviously, obviously, there's no like loading screens on the DVDs. But, anyways, here's the special features Blu ray from the Raskavan, spoken languages, just English, and subtitles of different languages there. And the special features behind the story, which lines with the bubbly scenes and trailers, and behind the stories. Crane of Hair Power Three Creatures and the Creatures Show Up, blah blah blah. A few different things there. And then I believe scenes and then trailers as well. Um, yeah, that's that. Alright, so it's already been like almost half hour since I'm making this video. I've only gone through three movies. So I'm going to try to be a bit faster here. So here is the Blu-ray for Goblet of Fire. Goblet of Fire is obviously where the series starts to like, take a turn, because it's where Voldemort comes back to life. I like the end of the movie, Goblet of Fire. Alright, so here is the Goblet of Fire Blu-ray. Sorry, some of these are taking like a little while to load up. It's not my fault. I'm I'm not like controlling how long it takes to load up. But anyways, at least I can skip past like the copyright screens and the Warner Bros. intro logo thing, and that makes it go a little bit faster. Having my thumb on this, if you hear like a little sound like that. Anyway. Come on, why isn't this unloading up? Okay, there we go. Alright, so here's the Goblet of Fire Blu ray. So you have languages, spoken languages. Vlams? What's that? I've never heard of that language before. I'm saying, if anyone knows what that language is, let me know. Anyways, there's subtitles, and scene selections, special features, and movie experience. We leave them to kind of hilarious ride to see behind the scenes action. It's pretty cool. And then WBBD Live thing, of course. And that's it for that one. <coughs> Alright, so now we have. The DVD of Cop of Fire movie. Hopefully I'm not like working the PS4 too much. Um, 
I like playing on all these DVDs and Blu-rays. Hopefully I'm not like exhausting the PS4. <laughs> Anyways. Because PS4 is pretty old, I think, so it could like shut down at any point, I think. I feel like. I don't know. Anyways. And I can't skip past copyright logos for this one. <laughs> the DVD menu for the God of Fire movie. Do -do 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 -do. So we're gonna play movie of course, then scene selections. Alright, so we have all of the scenes here of course. And languages. Languages, yes, spoken languages and subtitles. And then it's copyright stuff. Rip Michael Gambon. Or Michael Gambon, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but yeah. Sir Michael Gambon. He recently passed away. <coughs> anyway. Alright, so we have the special features DVD for Goblet of Fire. <coughs> this is the last special features DVD in this collection because, like I said, there is no other special. Special Features DVDs for all the other movies, because all the special features are on the Blu-rays for the rest of the movies. Anyway. Just like on the Prince of Aspen, such features to be used. We're gonna choose English, of course. <coughs> Here's the menu for the Combat Fire Special Features DVD. <coughs> So we have like four different areas here, we have Dragon Arena, the Lake, the Maze, and Hogwarts Castle. It's actually a pretty cool special features disc because it has like interactive games for all of the uh, Triwizard Tournament tasks from the movie, so that's pretty cool. And then like all the like behind the scenes stuff is in the Hogwarts Castle area of the DVD. Anyways, I'm not going to go through all that because we're all like 33 minutes in to uh, the video. Anyways. Um, and then here's the Blu-ray Test Fugitive Disc with Part 4 in the Rosary Part of Sound and Music. Um. Oh yeah, I saw Roblox right here and that reminded me, um, the video I did recently of uh, when I played Roblox on the PS4, that video didn't really, uh, that hasn't gotten that many views. I think it's only up to like 21 views, so I probably won't do any more videos of me playing Roblox on the PS4. And also, I've done like a couple of movie review reviews. <laughs> That's my word there. I was gonna say. And also, I've done a couple of like movie review videos recently. Like, I've done a of movie, rev movie review video about that kidnapped movie, and then a movie review video of the, about the two grown ups movies. Um, so yeah, and uh, both of those videos haven't really gotten much views either, so I might not do any more movie review videos. And I know some people might be like, well, well do do stuff that, do, make videos that make that make you happy and that you're like excited to make and, and stuff like that and that you think are fun to make. And like, don't worry about like how many views of videos are getting, like I, I understand that, but like, what's the point of making videos if they aren't like gonna get any views, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, anyway. Hopefully this video gets a lot of views. 
and raise your special features Blu-ray for uh, Goblet of Fire. Yeah, languages, spoken languages, subtitles, all that. That's where the feature is on a story, delete scenes and trailers. And one, infam one infamous delete scene from Goblet of Fire is one of the students sing the like Hogwarts school song in the Great Hall. And um, I feel a lot of people don't really understand that's a delete scene. Like a lot of people who see that scene for the first time are like, I don't remember this scene of the students singing the school song. Um, that's just what I've seen a lot of people say. But anyways. So moving on to Order of the Phoenix, here's the Blu-ray of Order of, the, Order of the Phoenix movie. Order of the Phoenix is my brother's favorite Harry Potter movie. Um, in my opinion, Order of the Phoenix um, is kind of meh. I mean, I mean, none of the Harry Potter movies are like bad, really. But like, Order of the Phoenix is kind of meh. Mainly because of um, Dolores Umbridge. If she wasn't in the movie, it would probably be a lot better. Anyways, here comes the Blu-ray for Order of the Phoenix. As you can see, for for the Phoenix, there's only three discs instead of four because there's no special features DVD disc. Uh -huh, anyways, this video will probably go a lot faster. These discs will load up faster. Um, <laughs> Six minutes. I don't want this video to get really long. But it still has like three more movies to get through, and there's like a, a bonus disc as well, Blu ray bonus disc at the end, so yeah. Why is this one taking so long to load up? Come on. There we go. It's coming now. Alright. Oh yeah, I guess I was, I was watching more of the Phoenix before a little while back, and I, I took the disc out of it before I was done, before the movie was done, so it says turn to the last time played or start at the beginning of disc, so we'll do start at the beginning of disc. Uh. Alright, here's the blue menu for or the Phoenix. Languages, scene selections, special features, play and movie experience from the captain and those artists come together. And the focus points on the like behind the scenes thing, the DVD live thing, of course, and that's that. And then here's the DVD uh, for the Phoenix. Pop that one in. This video's gonna be over 40 minutes. Dang it. Yeah, it's not a big deal, but yeah. Anyways. <laughs> it's just for a thing that we're sounding in, it was like, Mrrr. anyways. Here's the, the menu for the World of Phoenix TV. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Alright, so you have play movie scene selections, languages, pretty similar to the Goblet of Fire DVD. Anyways, here's scene selections. All of that. And then languages, spoken languages and subtitles. That's that, but I'll take that one in. 